All my Pokemon does is water pulse. No one dares come near me. Oh, I wouldn't either. It's gonna get... <laughs> Oh my, all my Poochyena does is water pulse. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Finning Flyer and welcome back to episode 14 of my Pokemon Emerald Hardcore Roulette Lock. Last episode, we added Chad the Charmeleon to our team, and this episode, we're gonna make the rest of our way over to Fall Arbor Town. But before we begin, I made a slight discovery while I was taking Chad out of the PC because I switched its item so it has the focus band now from uh gale but chad here was holding a tm for us so i haven't checked it yet let's see what it is real quick protect okay can am i like unable to get attacking tms besides like two percent of it what uh friggin i got icicle spear and aerial ace. Icicle spear. And aerial ace. Please help. Okay, 12. I didn't check these. This is gonna be enough. Okay, I didn't check to see if it was gonna be enough to get chat up to level 24. You gonna learn any new moves? Rage. No. 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so that's interesting. Thank you, Chad. I mean, maybe, listen, it's a sign. Chad is going to protect us. Because Chad was holding protect. Chad will protect us through everything. Okay, here we go. We have a, a Weeping Bell. Janice learned agility. Yeah, nice. Another Charmeleon. I'm just gonna run away. Run. Okay, I'm gonna pick all these guys up. And... How long does it take berries to grow? I'm not sure. That is a very good question. And can I avoid both of these trainers? Yes, I can. Oh, wait, this is a new route, right? No, it is not. No, it is not. Run away. Okay, route 111. Is this the same route? I'm not sure, but you're fighting me. Okay. Um, let's get you out of the front because you are injured, and let's put Chad in the front. Let's see how much what's Chad what what the Chad is gonna do. Oh, you're gonna give me this stuff. What are you doing? You're making your own room. You'll give me a TM. Thank you. TM forty three. What's this gonna be? Find a lot of space. Putting your favorite things. A secret base. I love the secret bases so much. Okay, there we go. Goodbye, sir. Let's see what this is. It's ancient power. It's not secret power, it's ancient power. It's a different power. Um, that could be useful. There's only five power points. Um, ancient power is useful because it can give you a boost. To all of your stats. I don't know. This is a rest house, if I remember correctly. Dear, dear, aren't you Pokemon exhausted? Let's rest up here. Take your time and rest up. I didn't know this existed for forever because I just never came down here until a couple years ago when I was playing. I'm not shy about it. Now it's time for the Name Writer Show. I'll tell your Pokemon's fortune from a nickname you've bestowed. Advice is what I have to give, and it is helpful advice that I offer. Today, I shall be doing a reading of the nickname Spike Ball of Phoenix Pokemon Togetic. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This nickname is... 
A nickname that perfectly complements Finnick, the trainer's name. It suggests that you will forge a fine partnership with precise timing. The nickname Spike Ball is very shapely in a pleasing manner. The presence of the letters S and P. Now that is remarkably good. I must say that Spike Ball is quite a good nickname. I hope that the trainer will continue to treat Spike Ball with love. That's it for today's show. May we meet again. They're on to me, chat. The feds are on to me. I gotta get out of here. Okay, pick up the raspberries. There we go. Pick up the orange berries. There we go. We're getting a little bit close to the end of the... Can I go? I can't! I just... Oh, that was sneaky little. Oh my gosh. Route 113. It is. It is, chat. What are we gonna get on Skarmory's route? What are we gonna get on Skarmory's route? Let's see it. A Skitty? Okay, listen, 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 listen. Skitty, not Delcaddy, Skitty was on my Pokemon X and Y main team. I finished that game with like a level 70 something 80 Skitty. Don't disrespect Skitty. I do kind of wish that it wasn't a normal type Pokemon again, though. Okay, so listen, okay, so looking at my Pokemon, I don't know why I'm getting too paran so paranoid about it. Because normal types are not bad, and I don't think normal types are bad. I have a normal type, a normal flying type, a grass flying type, a nice flying type, a fighting type, and a fire type. I do have very good type variety on my team right now. It's fine. Fight. Scratch. Okay, double slap. I'm being not dumb this time, and I'm- Oh! Clear body prevents ability reduction. I forgot to check it. Again. Why don't you remind me? I don't know why you don't remind me, Chad. I do not understand. Why you don't remind me? Skitty! A skitty's adorably cute behavior makes it highly popular. In battle, it makes its tail puff out. It threatens foes with a sharp growl. So it has a puffy tail and a sharp growl. Nickname, 2D Skitty. I'm gonna name you... Mini. There we go. Mini. I have no idea why. Oh wait, I do know why. I have a friend who has a cat named Minnie and she's very fierce. You want to stay away from her. And it was talking about the tail puff out and all that. Um, so I'm going to real quick go. Okay, Google. Random number one through seven. Here's a random number. Four. Four. I don't know who's in fourth. Who's in fourth? Arity! Okay. It is sad to see Arity go. You have the seeds and the synthesis and the stuff, and you can be helpful in your own time, but maybe we'll get you again when you're gonna be a higher level and able to do a bit more. So I'm just gonna put you in the bottom right now because I'm just gonna go to the next town before I put Skitty in my party, so I'm just not gonna use Arity for now. Okay, let's see. A Marowak! I like Marowak. Run. Um, sure, let's go. Oh, come on! You go for the item! Okay, Ember on you and Karate Chop on you. Ember on you and Karate Chop on you, because I think the burn takes you out. If it doesn't, it you barely live. Yeah. Ember on you, Karate Chop on you. Okay. 
Ember on you, Karate Chop on you. There we go. Oh, there's a third guy? I didn't see you. Valtori, I'm gonna switch my Pokemon. Send out Janus. Valtori is a rock type. But use a psychic type move, okay. Cool. I was like, wait, Valtori's a rock type. Should I have done this? You're fine. Okay, Powder Snow. I think it's super effective. Yeah. Ice is strong against ground. Okay, so now I'm gonna... Oh, I can go around. A big mushroom. I can sell that to the mushroom guy if I ever- Nope. If I ever find him. A black flute. It's funny because you're supposed to get the flutes from here. Okay, so here's a Marowak and Sandstorm, and I'm gonna run away. That actually it gets an ability that actually suits it. Mental Herb. Is that the one- does that heal Pokemon completely? Is that what that one does? Out of infatuation. And I think like taunt and stuff like that too. I don't know if that was a change though. That's just what Showdown says. So many Pokemon immediately. Run away, run away. Okay, another Marowak. I guess that Skitty was the rare encounter. I don't know who I, I have a soft spot for Skitty, but Marowak probably would have been better. So if we were, yeah, literally, if we were playing, if this wasn't randomized, my first encounter would have been Skarmory. Skitty is the Skarmory. So I'm happy with that. I got the Skarmory of the Root. And Marowak is the Spinda of the Root. Marowak is Eye Patch. What do you do? I remember I used to, I was like, oh, it's so cool, you can get stuff. And I was like, oh, it's go around and I would run around in the soot for like forever um I don't know if I can you come back so I can talk to you I don't want to chase you around thank you I don't know why I wanted to talk to you but anyway let's keep going hello Espinda we got hail another non immediate at least this one does damage it won't it's not really good though cuz why did I... I tried to use Ember. Okay. We're good? We're good. I'm gonna stop speeding up here because I don't want to run into anybody else. And if I'm speeding up, I will make the mistake of doing it. Let's see. Here we go. Pokemon Center. Pokemon Center! Oh, that person's here. Listen, I have a thing. I don't know why, but I have a thing where... I think I just have problems with change. <laughs> but the person who, like, owns the PC, I never like... I never use the PC in the town with the person who owns the PC. Because I don't want... It to... Ch it says someone's PC, and I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Because I didn't even know they existed for, like, years when I was first doing it. I never found, um... I forgot her name. What's her name in Diamond Pearl Platinum? But I never found her for like years. And then I was like, wait, it actually has a name? What does it mean? And like, what do you mean it has a name? It's just someone's PC. It's supposed to be someone's PC. So I don't use it. But I guess I will this time because there are other encounters I need to get and I need to change out my team. So fine, I will make it change to Lynette's PC. Let's real quick boot up the PC. Did it still say someone's PC? Wait, it still says someone's PC. Why does it not say Lynette's PC? Do I have to go visit her for it to be Lynette's PC? Wait, what's going on? My brain, um, that whole explanation didn't even mean anything. Okay, so let's switch you with you and I'll leave the miracle seed on you because none of these have grass type moves. But let's go. And I know that there are two encounters we can get right here. Two very awesome encounters. But I think, actually, I want to know what the TM is first. Because I need to go eat some dinner. I want to know what your, your TM is. All my Pokemon does is water pulse. No one dares come near me. Oh, I wouldn't either. It's going to get soaked. 
<sighs> if you would, please take this team away. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my Poochiana does is water poles. What is, what is that, wait? <laughs> <laughs> why is it that just why is that so funny to me? Why is that so funny to me? All my Poochiana does is water poles. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh. You have a barboach. I'ma change my Pokemon. I was hoping he was gonna give me something, but he didn't. My three bottom Pokemon. Okay, now I sh I do know why. I, now I do know why I was complaining about normal types. My th half of my team is normal type. One of them's technically flying type by technicality. My gosh. I don't have Gale. I don't have. I need to stop letting you gain levels. I don't want to learn that move. I don't have Gale, I don't have Bean, I don't have... Vileplume, I forgot Vileplume's name. Yeah. You're chill, you'll get better with time. Oh my gosh, um, give me the Hondu Berry. Oh no. I do have a legendary on my team. And a starter Pokemon. That's good. And a Primeape. Super high attack. That's good. Firefighting, Ice, and Normal. It's not a bad. Wait, I forgot. I'm gonna drive people insane. Oblivious, Prevents Attraction. That's cute. That's cute. Tail of attracting double stuff. I have a moonstone. I have a moonstone, but I'm gonna think about whether I'm gonna evolve mini. Because, wait, let me see. Let me look up real quick. Because stone evolutions, are you gonna get your further. What level will I evolve mini at? Skitty, because I need to know Delcati's moveset. Because stone evolutions, typically when they evolve, they just. They don't get moves once they evolve, they only get their moves in the previous stage. So you get your last move, you get double edge at 39. Yeah, and you don't. So I'm gonna leave you as a skitty until you're level 37 for heal bell, I guess. I don't know, that's interesting. But I will rare candy her up in between episodes. And cause I'm gonna end this episode off here. It's been a bit and I need to go eat dinner. But thank you all for watching this episode. I'd really appreciate you guys coming back and watching my videos. I hope you all enjoy. Uh, please, if you like my content and want to be notified when I upload, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Hit the like button if you like the video to tell me that you like it, or tell me what you don't like about them if you don't like it. And please don't forget to answer the question of the day in the comment section below, which today is gonna be, do you prefer the daytime or the nighttime? I personally find something really calming about being outside at night, you know, all the creatures making all their sounds or asleep except for a few just making some general sounds it's a lot quieter of a feel um it feels nice it typically feels cooler at night you know even if it's warm though it's just there's something peaceful about being just outside at night you know i like it so i thank you all very much i look forward to seeing your your answers in the comment section below and i hope you all have a good day goodbye